Hi, everybody. So we're going to talk about symbolism and women's roles um, in Victorian times and how those things are showing up in the awakening. So first, it's important that we know what symbolism is. Um, so remember that things in literature can be symbolic or have a deeper meaning. So this can be people, objects, locations, um, any of that can stand for something beyond its literal meaning. Often the symbolic meaning is even more important than the literal meaning, and some symbols hold more than one figurative meaning. Um, so these are some examples of, you know, common symbols in our society, but we definitely have lots of symbols happening in the novel that we're reading as well. Um, so some of those important symbols that we can see so far, one of them is a character, Adele. She is the ideal Victorian wife and mother, and we can see that through her actions, the way that others talk about her. Um, she's very much symbolic of that ideal. Mademoiselle Rees is the, um, the artist and also maybe the spinster. Um, so she stands for these sort of social roles uh, that, that people inhabited at the time and that they still do. Leonce, Edna's husband, he is the ideal Victorian man and the ideal husband. Uh, he has a job that provides really well for her, um, but he's also gone a lot and things like that. So um, even though we might find him flawed, he is, you know, kind of technically the ideal of what a man and a husband should be in Victorian times. Um, the ocean is also uh, pretty symbolic in the awakening, and it symbolizes a lot of different things. Um, it can symbolize individual desires. It can symbolize the universe. Um, it can symbolize all kinds of stuff. So the sea is really important in this text. Um, we also see some churches um, in the novel, and those can be symbolic of, again, different things. But one of the things that they symbolize can be those religious expectations that were, you know, even more prevalent um, at the time. And the doctor, we have Dr. Mandalay, and he is pretty representative of Victorian medical views. So if we take a closer look at Adele, um, we can see that she does lots of things that make her kind of the ideal Victorian wife and mother. Some of those things include these things that I've listed. So she's always sewing or knitting clothes for her children. She puts her husband and her children above herself. Um, she's pregnant during the novel. Again, it's not mentioned a lot because it wasn't really something that would have been openly discussed in Victorian times. Um, she's also always doting on her children. She's like the um, epitome of a helicopter parent. Uh, she's also really obedient. She keeps a beautiful home, really uh, maintains her social obligations, and she looks out for Edna. So she is like the ideal mother. We have Mademoiselle Rees, and she kind of symbolizes um, this this idea of a spinster. Um, if you're not familiar with a spinster, a spinster figure is sort of something that would happen to a woman that um, didn't marry, especially in Victorian times. So um, this is like an older, unmarried woman. She generally um, has never been married. Um, and in the case of Mademoiselle Rees, she plays piano, so she's also um, an artist as well. Um, but she does that for herself, not to please anybody else. Um, her home is also sort of symbolic of her status as a spinster because it's not well kept and it's inaccessible, meaning it's really hard to get to. She always chooses places that are kind of up high. Um, her clothing is also symbolic. She doesn't dress as well as others. And she doesn't value her social obligations as much as other people do. So all of this sort of symbolizes her status as being kind of on the outskirts of society. Um, she just never really bought into or did those things that would make her the ideal, you know, mother, wife, and woman in Victorian times. So she's symbolic of sort of what happens to Victorian women if they don't marry. 
um, according to those beliefs. Dr. Mandalay is also symbolic in the awakening, um, and he sort of symbolizes the medical views that were um, kind of common practice um, in Victorian times. So one of the things that we can see about Victorian medical views by looking at this character is that women were often classified as hysterical if they didn't behave appropriately or if they acted out in any way. And acting out would have been defined kind of differently um, at the time compared to how we define it today. So acting out could be anything as simple as, you know, just not putting on like a happy face when your husband got home, um, not happily doing whatever he asked whenever he asked it, um, not doting on your children, any of that would have kind of been inappropriate behavior. Um, and women would have been called, you know, hysterical if they were doing any of those kinds of things. It was really common at the time. Um, women were also thought to be really delicate um, and incapable of surviving in the harsh real world. So that's why they were kind of confined to the home. Um, and again, this was not only just social beliefs, but actual medical beliefs, too. They were also thought to be ruled by their bodies and incapable of making rational decisions at certain times. And Dr. Mandalay hints at these things when Edna, uh, when Leonce asks him about Edna's behavior. Um, he kind of, you know, shrugs it off, says it's a passing phase rather than a serious, you know, emotional and mental struggle that she's really going through. Um, he also doesn't bother really talking to her about her health. Uh, he's totally fine just going through the husband and based on what he says sort of makes his decisions about what's going on with her medically. Um, so for all of these reasons, he's sort of uh, symbolic of these medical views that were happening in Victorian times and how the medical community really viewed women. So quick symbolism recap. Um, remember that symbolism is all over the place in daily life and in literature. Um, people, objects, places, all of these can be symbols of various other things. And lots of the characters are very symbolic of those Victorian ideals and beliefs.